to love the Ozarks. We appreciate you stopping by. Today we are at Greenleaf State Park, one of the most family friendly state parks in the country. Uh, we hope to show you four things today on this video. Uh, number one, we'll go over some general stats and information about Greenleaf. Uh, number two, we're going to show you some of the wonderful facilities and activities that they do have here at Greenleaf and what makes it so family friendly. And uh, we have brought along our grandchildren and dogs to test this out. Uh, Greenleaf is located in the Cookson Hills of eastern Oklahoma. It's about three and a half hours from Springfield, Missouri. Uh, just a little over three hours from Little Rock, Arkansas. Two and a half hours from Oklahoma City and about an hour from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Uh, well, here if you need anything, uh, Muskogee, Oklahoma is about a 25 minute trip and Gore, Oklahoma is under 15 minutes away. Uh, you can get pizza delivered from a nearby place right here at Greenleaf uh, even. Uh, Greenleaf is 920 acres with 14 miles of shoreline, as you can see behind me, uh, the lake. Uh, it has an average depth of a little over 16 feet and a maximum depth of a little over 45 feet. Uh, no jet skis, wave runners are allowed on Lake Greenleaf. Uh, it does have a swim beach, uh, docks, boat launches, Greenleaf Marina and Grill, uh, which you can see uh, over my shoulders, the marina there. Uh, it's all located within the park, it has boat slips, fishing boats, kayaks, canoes, paddle boats, and rentals available. Uh, the marina also operates a heated fishing dock uh, with inside and outside fishing open 24 hours a day. Uh, fees for the fishing at the dock, the enclosed dock, are $5 a day, $3 a day for seniors and kids under 12. A green leaf also has three hiking trails for visitors to enjoy. The Family Fun Trail is a one and a half mile paved beginner level hiking trail. Uh, it is wheelchair accessible and begins at Greenleaf State Park office. Uh, the trail has markers to identify historical landmarks, benches, a gazebo, an observation deck that overlooks the Arkansas River. A uh, beautiful little trail, easy for anybody to go on. Uh, Deer Run Nature Trail is a one mile long trail that gives a glimpse of beautiful of the beautiful area and it's open to all skill levels of hikers. Uh, Greenleaf Hiking Trail is also called Greenleaf Ankle Express Hiking Trail. Uh, this trail is approximately 18 miles long, goes deep into wooded areas on the east side of the lake. It consists of one large loop uh, that can be broken down into a north and south loop. Uh, it is extended. It's ex it is intended to be taken counterclockwise direction and is considered intermediate to expert level. It does have uh, two overnight primitive campgrounds and a swinging suspension bridge on it. Uh, the suspension bridge is uh, being rehabbed right now so the, that portion of the trail is closed while we're here. Greenleaf has over a hundred RV campsites, uh, some with 50 amp or 30 amp electric and full hookups.
as well as 100 tent campsites. Uh, facilities include a community building, pavilion, enclosed shelter, outdoor shelter, swimming pool, amphitheater, nature center, playgrounds, volleyball, basketball courts. Uh, they even have a horseshoe pit. Uh, in addition, it has a well-stocked kids' pond that allows children under 16 to fish for free. Uh, no permits or licenses required. Uh, in addition to all this, there is 16 rustic cabins, 15. Uh, rent out of these, and I believe 10 of these have fireplaces of the 15 that they do rent out. Uh, the newest was added in 1994. It's called Cabin uh, 15 or Cabin on the Lake. It was designed to meet the challenges of campers with physical disabilities. It's donated by the, I believe it's the Telephone Pioneers of America, a uh, national organization of Southwestern Bell employees. Uh, the cost was approximately $90,000. And at the, that time, one of the Three handicap accessible cabins uh, on state parks or national, or one of the three on uh, park facilities in the country. Uh, we did arrive after hours and they leave uh, the keys and lock boxes by the in the uh, park office and the uh, hotel or the telephone number that you reserved your room on is the uh, combination to get your key to your room and then you just go up in the morning when they open the office and uh, do the paperwork and register I believe you need to do that before 11 but like I said we showed up after 5 and it was not a problem Uh, we wanted one closer to the water with the screened in porches, but they were all taken. So we did uh, reserve uh, one behind that. Uh, they do have different rates and uh, rates for different times of the season. So you want to make sure you check with the park uh, for the time and uh, date that you're thinking of. Uh, we paid $89 a night for ours on a Friday night. Uh, for a Friday and a Saturday night, it was 89 a night. Uh, they did allow pets for uh, our two dogs. It was an extra $15 each uh, per dog per night. Uh, so we thought it was pretty much better than expected with the facilities, the quality of them, and the pricing compared to what you would pay anywhere else for that kind of setup.
The cabins all have bathrooms, kitchens with full-size appliances, heat, air, dishes, cooking utensils, pot, uh, coffee pot, linens, towels, they're all provided. Uh, you basically just need to bring food and maybe like paper towels or perishable or uh, consumable items like that. In addition to all this, they regularly do different activities, hay rides, they have astronomy programs, campfire programs, party barge tours, and more. I believe they do hay rides, all kinds of activities. Uh, while we were there, my four-year-old granddaughter did an activity at the Nature Center where she made her own fish-shaped kite that she really got a kick out of. Uh, really good place for kids and it, it, even with the rain and all the bad weather we had while we were there it was still uh, I didn't get as much footage as I wanted and I wasn't able to do this until later on uh, but we did have fun kept the dogs and kids occupied just was a little tough I might have been a little ambitious thinking I could film and do this all at the same time but uh, it, it was definitely we we rated it as a great weekend and encourage others to try it